apply thevenin's theorem to find vo in the circuit of figure we have to find this vo in this circuit using thevenin's theorem solution first of all we will redraw the circuit now we will find rth and vth by re removing this 10 ohm resistor so this will be to find rth to find rth from here we will find rth and we will keep this aside this 10 ohm resistor let's say this is terminal a and this is terminal b so this will be rth now to find rth we will turn off all the independent sources so this will be this current source will be open circuited and this voltage source will be short circuited now from this rth is equal to rth is equal to 1 ohm 1 ohm plus 5 ohm parallel with 5 ohm parallel with 4 plus 16 so this is 21 this is 20 4 plus 16 is 20 so 20 ohm so this will be 1 ohm 1 plus 5 into 20 divided by 5 plus 20 this will be 1 plus 5 into 20 divided by 5 plus 20 so it is 5 ohm rth is equal to 5 ohm rth is thevenin's resistance next we have to find vth so to find vth to find vth we will consider this circuit this is terminal this is terminal a and this is terminal b and this is vth so this will be positive and this will be negative now here this will be vth let's say this is node v1 let's say this is ground node with zero voltage this is current i1 this is current i2 and this is current i3 now we will apply kcl at node v1 apply kcl at node v1 so entering current at this node is 3 ampere leaving current is i1 plus i2 i1 plus i2 i1 is v1 minus 0 by 16 i1 is v1 minus 0 by 16 plus i2 i2 is v1 minus vth by 4 v1 minus vth by 4 so this will be 3 is equal to v1 by 16 plus v1 by 4 minus vth by minus vth by 4 so 3 is equal to 1 by 16 plus 1 by 4 1 by 16 plus 1 by 4 this will be 5 by 16 v1 5 by 16 v1 minus vth by 4 let's say this is equation number 1 now we will apply kcl at node vth apply kcl at node vth so entering current at this node is i2 and leaving current is i2 and i3 is the entering current so i2 plus i3 i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 
i2 plus i3 is equal to 0. Now i2 is i2 is v1 minus vth by 4. v1 minus vth by 4 plus i3. i3 is 12 minus vth. 12 minus vth by 5. 12 minus vth by 5 is equal to 0. So this will be v1 by 4 minus vth by 4 plus 12 by 5 minus vth by minus vth by 5 is equal to 0. So this will be v1 by 4 and this will be 1 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 so minus 9 by 20 minus 9 by 20 vth then is equal to this will be minus 12 by 5. Let's say this is equation number 2. Now we have equation number 1 and equation number 2. So solving equation 1 and 2 we get mode 5 1. This will be 5 by 16 then minus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 then from equation 2 this will be 1 by 4 minus 9 by 20 then minus 12 by 5 so this is v1 is equal to 24.96 V1 is equal to 24.96 volt and VTH is equal to VTH is equal to 19.19.2 volt. So this is the value of VTH and RTH is 5 ohm. From this we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit. So Thevenin equivalent circuit will be resistor and voltage source in series so this will be vth vth is equal to 19.2 volt and rth is equal to 5 ohm rth is 5 ohm what we have to find we have to find vo this vo voltage across this 10 ohm now we will put this 10 ohm back so here this will be 10 ohm resistor this will be plus minus vo and this is 10 ohm now here we can apply voltage division rule so by applying applying voltage division rule vo is equal to vo is equal to this voltage 19.2 into this resistance which is 10 ohm divided by 10 plus 5 10 plus 5 so this will be 19.2 19.2 into 10 plus 5 15 12.8 12.8 .8 volt this is the value of vo 12.8 volt for electrical and electronics engineering related questions and answers visit the link in the description below